Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add an additional account to your Gmail account, so like a non-Gmail email address, so you can check your email uh, all from one place. Um, so there's a couple ways you could do this, depending on the account. So we're going to add a Yahoo account. It's easier to set up like a Yahoo or Hotmail or a even AOL account compared to like a generic POP3 account. So we have our user Todd here with his Gmail address, and we're going to add his Hot or excuse me, his Yahoo address to this account as well so we can check the email from both locations. So what you want to do is you go to your settings here and see all settings. Then you want to go to accounts and imports and don't confuse it with this import mail and contacts as that will just import your mail and we want to be able to you know send and receive new email from this account or from our Gmail interface as well and rather than just import existing mail. Okay so where it says check mail from other accounts you want to click on add a mail account and then here, I want to type in his Yahoo account. Okay. Click on Next. Okay, so now here's where things kind of differ depending on what you're doing. So if, like I said, if you're using like a popular, you know, Hotmail, AOL, Outlook, Yahoo account, you can use Gmailify, which will kind of give you the features of Gmail, like spam protection and that kind of thing that you normally have when you're doing Gmail addresses. But if you're using something that's not popular, like you know, like a, something from your work or something that uses a POP3 address, something specific to your own domain, maybe then you're going to have to do this option here. But we're going to do Yahoo. So we click on Next. Okay, then we get the Yahoo sign-in. So we have to sign in here. Okay, already got it saved, so click on Next. Okay, so by agreeing, you'll allow Gmail to access your profiles and your mail. So if you agree to that, you click Agree. Okay, so now you can now manage this Yahoo email, emails from Gmail. And then you can unlink it if you want to go back into the settings and do so. Okay, so we'll go to the inbox here. Okay, so now you can see here's his here's his Yahoo account. The Friday oops, got stuff coming in here. Friday meeting meeting has been canceled and send the files over. Those are Yahoo emails. So you can see we got them in here. So if we click on one, you can see it's uh to Todd at yahoo.com instead of Gmail, so they're kind of blended in there. And so if we go to a new email. You get a drop down here. You could send it from either one of those. So depending on, you know, if you want to use your standard Gmail, you could use this, or if you want to have it come from this Yahoo, you just click on that. And so when the person gets it, they'll see that it came from the Yahoo. You could uh, use either one. So you could add even additional additional ones, and then you'll have a drop down from there. So you know, pretty simple. And you know, I guess the only hard part is keeping track of uh, which email address they're coming into. So you might not even care. So, but you just have to open it, and that's to Yahoo. If I open this one, that's coming to Gmail. Okay, to his Gmail. So on. So once again, settings. See all settings. Accounts and import. Send mail as. So here's now you can see we have both of them in here and the Gmail is the default. You can make the Todd, the Yahoo one the default if you want to do that. And what that'll do is when you click on new email, that'll come up first and then you'd have to switch it to this one if you want this. If you think you're going to be using this one more than that one. And then replying to a message, always reply from the default address, which is currently this one. And then you can change that if you want. Or if you want to reply from the same address the messages were sent to, this technically I would think should be the default because you want to reply from the actual email address that it was sent to. Otherwise, if someone sends something to his uh, Yahoo and you reply from Gmail, that might confuse them. Yeah, so pretty simple. So like I said, just go through there, follow those instructions, and assuming it's one of the popular accounts, you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.